All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Today we are here with something really special, and that is the Rama X Machine Industries M10A 10 key programmable micro pad. It's from Mass Drop. It's the one that you could uh, get off the big drop that just came. So basically, what this is is that it's a keypad that you can pretty much bind any key command or function or whatever you want to do um, to the small keypad. And we're just going to do a brief unboxing today and we'll see what is in this box, how it works with your computer. Uh, today we're going to try it with the Windows 10. And from there on, we'll just play around with it. So let's get to it. Um, before we start, I got the uh, standard uh, keycaps with it. So these ones right here. So if I open these up, let's take a quick look at these ones. So it's just like the little panic button. If I'm too lazy to focus the camera right now. But yeah, it's just like standard keycaps, different colors, things like that. So I'm gonna put these off to the side for now. Um, and we will open it up just like it came in the mail because I actually haven't really opened it up yet. So we'll take a look here. So it's just nicely packed. Um, you had an option if you wanted to have it pre-built or build it yourself. I'm lazy. So I spent the extra $5 and just had it pre-built for me. Um, so it comes in a nice little segmented box. So your USB cables are just in this little section here. So just micro, yep, standard dress USB cable there. Along with your little wrench. So it's just like Ikea. There you go. And of course the actual pad itself right here. And of course it doesn't have the uh, key bindings in yet, but that's actually a very nice weight. Um, originally I thought it was gonna be like a plastic or something, but this is actually metal. So it actually has like a really decent weight to it. That's nice. Let's get it out. And let's see what this looks like. That's nice. So yeah, again, this is real metal. This isn't just like a plastic or anything. So our Rama plus mass drops. So yeah, this, this I received off a of mass drop and It's gonna be really nice. So yeah, let's let's take a second here and I'll just get things set up so I can put the uh, keycaps on it and then we can start testing it. And we're rock! And as you can see, I've kind of got a little pattern here that I'm gonna work with right now. So it's gonna work on putting these suckers in. But yeah, so like the main the main reason why I got like this little micro pad in the first place was for uh, video editing and stuff. Because again, you can bind pretty much whatever key you want as well as like custom functions and stuff and I just thought it'll be like a lot easier in the long run because again with using Adobe products and stuff there's a lot of shortcuts that you can use so I just thought hey why not just get a pad that I can like you can custom function everything right so ah, that's that's what I did and that's what we're going to test after this Putting the keycaps back on, like so. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess, I guess you could technically use this for gaming and stuff as well, right? Like, I don't know what game, like, you could use it with, like, a flight simulator or something. Uh, let's see. I don't really know how these are going to go on. Like that. And if you guys give me a second, I put some of these on backwards, so I'll be right back and just, I'll, I'll fix it up for you and we'll be right back. And there you go, it's pretty much all done and all the keys are working. Again, I'm very surprised with the production quality of this because it feels, it feels legitimate. So like, let's take our little guy right here, port right here to put your wonderful wires in. Okay, it's just a micro, so you can get it in here. Boop, like that. And then as far as I'm aware, it's just a plug in and a go for like a standard USB. And uh, again, as I said before, you could replace the blue key with the uh, came with a standard like magenta-ish key, or you can just use your own keycaps. And there's plenty about plenty out there, as you know. Um, but yeah, so let's plug it in to the computer and let's see what happens next. So transition. So now we have it all plugged in. 
Um, basically, after you plug it in, uh, you have to go to rama.works slash uh, configurator, like we are here. Um, it went to guides. But pretty much it leads to this page, and really, it's just really easy to install on uh, Mac and Linux. But for Windows, you just have to do a little bit of uh, jumping through hoops. Uh, for Windows, you download the uh, configurator. So like this guy right here, you save it somewhere like your desktop. Um, and then basically, you just make sure that you have the actual github.exe downloaded as well. So this is the program that allows you to map your macros and stuff. And then basically after that, uh, you plug in your device into USB. You press the reset button on the top of the keyboard. Can't really miss it. And then after that, you open up your device manager. So I'm on Windows 10, so I just like write device manager and then you pop up here. And then it would pop up here. It actually say I can't find the drivers. So then that's when you like right click. Uh, what's an example I can use here? Um, you say update driver software. And then you would just search for this uh, dude that you just downloaded, the uh, zip. And then you can run the configurator.exe, installs, and then eventually you are going to get to this wonderful guy. And I love how it makes it so easy to be able to do this. Because literally, this, this is your little micro pad, and it's so easy to configure it. Um, because you can literally s create um, macros, actual keys... Uh, commands, things like that. So, like for a micro or a macro, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's let's uh, edit this, for example. All right. So, if I double click this macro action, the macro itself will is H E L L O. Hello. Um, but an example, if I'm using this in like uh, Adobe Premiere or something, and I want it to be like Control C or something, um, I can say. Control C when this pressed and it'll do that action for me, right? Or you can just have it like keys, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So once you've configured all that stuff and you have all your keys in, uh, you say upload. I've already done that. That's why it's not there. And then you can actually use those commands. So if I go to Word for a second and remember how that top button said hello, that's the macro that was made. Every time I press that key, it types hello. So I can just spam hello or control Y or whatever my command's going to be. Same with the other keys. So they're A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, what, et cetera. And it just, it makes workflow a lot easier, you know, especially if you're in chat and you just want to say hello, 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 hello. But no, that's, that's basically the use of what this pad is. And again, it, it's, I see it being very useful in Adobe and other editing software. And hey, if you have a flight simulator or if you have something else that you want to use this with, um, by all means, it works with uh, Microsoft, as you can see here, Mac and Linux operating systems. So honestly, I'm, I'm personally very happy with this uh, product. I think they did a really good job with it. Really good quality. And yeah, that's about it. All right. Thanks again, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hopefully this gave you like a little brief uh, explanation of what this little product is. And again, I'm really happy with it. And it's really cool that... Now I'm going to be able to use this for multiple programs and I can even use it with my MacBook. So again, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, whatever, leave them down in the comments and I hope you all have an awesome day. See you later and goodbye.